Hi, my name is Peace George. How are you all doing? Um, I have a release in my spirit um, to share an encounter that I had with you all and also the lessons that I learned from this encounter. A while ago, I was praying uh, and asking God for an encounter with his dimension as the ancient of days. You need to know this. I am a woman that contends for encounters. You know, kind of like the way Jacob said, I will not let you go until you bless me. Okay, I contend for encounters like that to say, God, I want to know you as this. I want to know you as that. I want to know this dimension of you as the ancient of days. So this was my prayer. And so that night, I'd finished praying, laying in bed, and then the Lord opened my eyes to see a man standing in front of me. Immediately I saw him. I knew that this was an answer to my prayer. So I started to stretch my hands to touch him. And the more I tried, the farther he seemed. And so I, my right hand was stretched to touch him. But my left hand kept tugging at the bed, just holding so strongly to the bed. I put one of my legs down and, uh, you know, so a part of my body was out, out of the bed. The other part was on the bed and I kept stretching. I couldn't touch the man, And then he disappeared. So, you know, I was so hurt. And Lord, why would you visit me? And I wouldn't be able to touch you. And so I began to inquire in the spirit. And so the following day, I got an answer. And the answer, the Holy Spirit laid in my heart, was that I did not let go so that I could touch him. I clung to the bed because I loved the comfort of my bed. And the Lord began to talk to me about comfort zones and how it can become something else. It is absolutely natural for you to seek comfort in the familiar. It is absolutely natural for you to seek comfort in your routines. But every once in a while, the Lord wants to distract those things. One thing I know for sure is that our comfort zones give us security. We love them because they keep us safe from the unpredictable, from the unexpected. But until you get to your end zone, you really cannot walk with God. Until you get to your end zone, you really cannot move from glory to glory. Growth and transformation occur frequently outside of your comfort zone. The scripture emphasizes the significance of moving out in faith to do things. Step out in faith. Take risks in faith. In Joshua 1.9, God comforts Joshua while preparing to lead the children of Israel into the promised land by saying, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And similarly, the Lord is calling you today to walk outside of your comfort zone. And all you have to do is rely on his presence and guidance. The steps of the righteous are ordered by God. Leaving your comfort zone necessitates giving up your desire for control. It necessitates giving up your desire for your own security and placing your complete trust in God. The story would have been different if I had let go of my comfort zone in that encounter, but God wanted to teach me a lesson beyond whatever was going on that day. And I get it because I've had to reflect on the areas of my life where I have been too comfortable too comfortable that I have shut God out because I didn't want to step out in faith. And I tell you, moving outside your comfort zone allows you to encounter the power of God like never before. 
Paul states in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, and he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in your weakness. So it's okay for you to enter into uncharted waters. How can you be a trailblazer if you don't let go of your comfort zone? Moving beyond your comfort zone creates fresh opportunities for you, for spiritual growth, for personal development, and of course, for kingdom impact. Some of you who are listening to me right now, God is asking you to move from where you have been and start to do something else. He has given you this instruction, but you're fearful. You're afraid. How do I go about it? I don't have enough money to start the business. I don't have enough money to move to another town. I don't have the courage to speak to people, to evangelize. I don't have what it takes to birth the ideas that God has given to me. But today, I come to you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Go forth. Let go that comfort zone. Like Peter did by walking on the water. And out of all the disciples that we know, he was the only one who did that. Why? because he trusted Christ enough to walk on the water. So God is saying to you, let go of your boat so that you can enjoy the next best thing with Christ.